Happy autumn. We're under attack. I have a lot of things to tell you. First of all, uh, let me take these off. This is my new fall skin. I uh, I saw that Velxa had gotten uh, an autumn sweater on their skin and I was inspired and I had to do the same thing with mine. So I, I really like it. I have, I, I have so many things to show you. So I have gone down a resource pack rabbit hole. Please let me know what you think of them. There are only two of them that I absolutely want to keep no matter what. The rest of them, I don't know. And the first of the rest of them is a fall pack. So it changes some leaves like this. I might just have it on for today. I might not have it next time. I don't know, I like it. But at the same time, it's gonna make some building things and some stuff at the base weird. There's also this, these leaves on the floor, love those. Anyways, I am here trying to get a horse. I I've decided spontaneously that I need one, but also I'm sure that you have seen this in other people's videos before, or if you haven't, what are you doing? But fresh animations. It's going to make riding these horses so much more exciting. And I will show you the other resource pack that I, ooh, I, have I not tamed anything here before? No, I certainly have. The server is just weird like that. Let's see how fast you go. Okay, you're not that fast. I'm not gonna lie. You're not that fast. Uh, let's look for another one. So I actually, this is, this is my saddle, one of my own saddles. And you might be wondering, well, why are you specifying that it's your own? Well, it's because I stole it from the villager's house, or at least it felt like stealing. But it wasn't because it was mine, but it was in the house because um, we have been under attack and received threats. And so Mac being good paranoid Mac, I don't want that horse. I don't like the way it looks. Um, ooh, I like that one. I like that one. Anyways, Mac decided that it would be a good idea to squirrel away everything on the Moss Peninsula. Well, not everything, but everything of importance. Oh, this guy has no hearts. We can't go with you. I'm sorry. It's turning night. Um, I, I keep, I, I need to focus. This is a terrible beginning. Ooh, there's a horse. I like the way you look. How many hearts do you have? Okay, what about you? How many hearts do you have? The same. It felt like this one might have moved faster. I am not continuing a sentence very well here. But <laughs> the idea is that a bunch of my possessions are in a villager house because Mac put them there. And so then I went to go get a saddle and I had no saddles and also basically no other things other than junk. Ooh, yeah. Do you like me? You love me. Okay, which way is home? It's this way. We're going to ride through the night. The other thing I want to get is a dog. And I will do that a little later today. And I will make a little a little home for my horse a little later t later today as well. I, I want a dog because I have downloaded another resource pack that I am obsessed with. I know this is a lot of changes in one episode, but I, I'm telling you, I went down such a rabbit hole. It was kind of bad. I'm really into those like little quality of life beautification sorts of things. You know what I mean? Oh, this is not a good angle. Yeah. See, now we're going to be stuck. How well do you... Oh, you're a good jumper. Okay. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. What am I talking about? I'm gonna show you what dogs look like, because Minecrabro left his dog at the Moss Island, and so you can see how it be. This is bad. We're out at night. This is bad. If I die trying to get this horse home, I'm going to be so sad. Now, while we journey, let me explain what I mean when I say that we're under attack. 
you remember those monstrosities I built? Dodo has killed two of them. That means that there are... How many are there left? Five? Which is still a fair number, but Dodo has murdered two of them. And also, oh no. See, this is this is not good for me. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Go this way, please. There's a grass. Get on it. No. Get onto the grass block. No, not that way. Right here. What a messy beginning to an episode. Dodo's killing monstrosities and has declared for the egg. The egg that went about murdering people on St. Chicken Thee. Listen, if you haven't watched these videos before, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to explain all this, but um, also Dodo basically killed Eglis. It's a little more complicated than that. Mac was building something and Dodo lured, ah, no, 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 no. No 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 Dodo lured Eglis towards Mac and Mac sadly killed Eglis. Uh in an act of oh no, powdered snow. Um in an act of self-defense, maybe, kind of. I don't know. It's a little confusing. But the basic idea is that Eglis is dead already. Eglis had a very short life. Um if you don't know or remember, Eglis is the warden that we put on St. Chicken Thee in retribution. Now, let me deposit you with the sheep here, I think. Yes, that will do nicely. And show you the other bit of the resource packs that I... It's right there. <laughs> Listen, some of you may not like this. You might not like that, but this is my, my channel my videos, and um, this is what dogs look like now. I love them, and I need some. Oh, also, Fred and Bubbles are gone. They have been squirreled away to the village where Mac put everything to keep them safe, I guess. Um, I did not write that, but I concur. So here's what some of the leaves look like, right? These are azalea leaves. I'm not mad at it, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it for very long. You know what I mean? But there are, there are other cute little things like this. These I love. I'm just, I'm feeling the autumn vibes. Also, I do still have my, my air conditioning on. Are there phantoms? Oh no. Even though it is autumn, it is still very hot in LA where I live and it's going to be getting up into the 90s again. And um, I simply don't want to be sad because I have no central AC. So I know that you will hear it sometimes. Please pardon it. I need it so badly. But I need to figure out what to do about our traitorous neighbor, Dodo, who has also inducted Mr. Theories, who was very close to wanting to join the Moss Men, actually gave me a couple diamonds to petition me to let him join. And now he's with the egg and helped Dodo explode a monstrosity. The, the vandalization. Now, there is one other thing I want to show you that I thought was really cool. It is with the moss carpets. Now, with another resource pack I got, they do this on the sides of blocks. They give a little fall downy droopy texture. That's the technical name. Anyways, let me know what you think about these packs and the changes and the skin and, and all of it, I guess. And uh, it's time to do... I, what time is it? I don't know. It's time for... Hello, and welcome back to the mysteries of Nearcraft. No, <laughs> not again. I have been busy mossifying. Also, I have this little uh, floating vine over here that I have preserved since almost the beginning of the server, right here. And as I was cutting down trees, more of them appeared. Now there's one over here, and there's one over here. The reason I have done this, though, is because Dodo, our our frenemy, is right over here. So, Moss Peninsula is here, right? Dodo is right up here in this... 
what would this be called? Crater? It looks like a volcanic crater. That's where he is. So he's very close and now all of this is cleared. So we have a perfect uh, line of vision. And also I have continued mossifying this side of the cliff as well. I don't know if I've actually shown any uh, progress updates on this before, but almost all of this is mossy. I still gotta fill in some of this stuff here. I don't know where I'll stop. I also want to take some deep slate and, you know, put it in areas like this, where there's several stacked on top of one another, because without it, it looks it looks a little bit uh, Dr. Seuss-ish, to be honest. Anyways, I have a problem, and the problem is that all my stuff is still gone. As I was saying earlier, uh... A bunch of our stuff from here was taken by Mac to a secret place, and so we're missing a lot of things. And some things it sounds like Mac has put down here. In... in the... the... Me, hello? In the mega base. <laughs> Let me see. Are, is it this chest? These... these chests? Oh, right here? No. Whose shulker boxes are these? I don't remember putting those there. Let me sleep real quick. Do I have a bed in here? I don't have a bedroom. I have a bed over here. Are they here? I'm not... I'm not seeing any of my stuff down here. Um... Because I have, like, a tremendous number of shulker boxes missing. Where are they? Um... So they're not here. Or here, or here. Or in there. Um, I'm gonna fly to the village. And see if I can, uh, find some stuff there. Oh, we're getting some lag spikes. Probably from all the resource packs I've added. <laughs> uh. Wow, those red trees, though, do look pretty beautiful down here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like them at my base, but I like them over here. Okay, this is the village. I think all of this is mine. I think everything in here is mine. The problem is... Are these my shulker boxes that were in here, or are they not? I don't know. Anyways, I'm I'm taking all of this stuff back. Because our base is not under attack right now, and I, I can't keep not having this, you know? Okay, that's perfect. Let's bring everything back, and uh, maybe try to organize it again? I don't know. Maybe it'll just be a mess. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I was working on Cavern off camera and I wanted to show you guys, but we're gonna pretend that we did not see those. So Cavern has been updated with a bunch of other things. As you can see here, there's a lot in here now. And uh, I don't actually know, have we made any sales? Let me, let me check these things. Ooh. Okay, we've made 11 diamonds. That's not too bad, putting them here in the little cavern section in my chest. I was going to try to do one of Orbeven's games today, and instead, he brought me up to the game area and told me that uh, one of the buildings he's been making, which will be the central building for players kind of keeping their own rooms and having a scoreboard to keep track of the games and all that sort of central stuff. He would like some help with it. Here's a clip. This was my original thought. You come in here and this will be cleared out and opened up. And these little side areas here would be for the players. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm going to take this completely apart because I don't really like it. I think of it as too narrow in here like I couldn't really fit the um, the scoreboard I felt like I, I needed more room yeah now 
as I said, you can keep any or all of this or not use that. These supplies here, this is the sandstone and chiseled sandstone and stuff. Here you've got frog lights, you've got different kinds of wood and terracotta, and anything over here also you can use. All right, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to log out. This is Orbeven's game area. And uh, this is just the first task, and there's a bunch of other tasks that are going to happen. These are where the prizes are being set up and all that stuff. This is where he needs a scoreboard and places for all the players who are competing to store their things and a storage system, basically. He also said that he will compensate me, which is perfect right now. Also, I did compile all the things that Mac uh, squirreled away, and in the process I found nine diamond blocks. So I'm up to this now, which is amazing. So I'm going to tear this down and I am going to get started on it. There is another person who has asked for help. So here is a clip with Dodo discussing the nether hub. Hello. Hello. So you see this entrance on this side. Yes. It's going to be an identical uh, entrance on all four cardinal directions. Okay. These are where they, where they start. So this is the space we have to work with. Got we go it. Down quite a lot, and we can go up quite a lot. Okay, so it, really. I don't know if you or or Velxa has already discussed anything in particular, but the first thing that my mind jumped to was trying to lean into the the train station feel, you know, um, mm -hmm. making it look, you know, like a, a bigger version of this on the inside with some new stuff. I think it'd be really cool to make the central portal y look uh, unique in some way, but I don't know. I haven't thought far enough as to what that should be. But making it really pop. Some centerpiece. Ooh, if yeah. we're going like old industrial train station vibes, it could be like the bottom of a big bell tower or clock tower or something. That would be really interesting. Yeah, that could be cool. Uh, there could be like a big clock face above it or something. I don't know. Um, but I feel like this style lends itself to that sort of thing really well. And then some big dome at the top. Did you come up with this design? I did. Uh, there's bits and pieces that I took from online. Like the... Um... Oh, uh, let's, let's go up here real quick so I can show you. Yeah. Because that boggles my mind. I struggle to make a door. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this piece uh -huh. where right now it just has one destination but there'll be eight of them you can select uh, so there is a system behind here that, which reads the signal of the item frame and reads it as an analog signal from zero to nine I think Okay. something like that and then there's a piece right there where you see those those slime block towers right yeah. next to that, that little compact space, will convert that signal from an analog signal to a three-bit digital signal, which is then trans uh, transmitted along these three, well, six, but three in each direction lines at the bottom of the whole thing. Okay. And so and that's what the destination that you pick, uh, right, so it's going to change the, the track? Exactly. So if you you could test it out even if you select the end portal and then you get in, it'll drop you off at the next station like right there. But if you select any anything else, it'll keep going on to the next destination. A lot of it, it, it honestly it was it was a challenge but a lot of fun to get through it. Yeah, I bet. So I have both of these projects to begin, and I think that I'm going to get going on this one now because I'm still waiting on some resources for the nether hub one. But I think that I should have just about everything I need here, so I'm just going to dive in. I'm so excited. Roll the time lapse. So, um, bad news. I think it's about half the size it needs to be. I think I need to double. I think I need to double this. Yeah. BRB. Now this 
is a much better sized hill, I think, and I should be able to expand this nicely to what I want it to be. Now, roll the time lapse. Here is the reveal, the finished product. I'm really happy with this. It's such a unique thing. The inspiration was actually uh, the Eerie from Game of Thrones. I wanted something kind of round and Grecian looking. I like all the, the symmetry with the arches going back and forth and everything. It's really unique. So, let me give you a little tour in here. This is the central area. Around the sides of it are these compartments, which I have left undecorated, which each of the competitors will get to use. And there is space back here if he wants to expand them a little bit. There's space here as well. I wanted to make it a little... I wanted to make it open enough that he could move stuff around if he wanted to, you know? And then we have all of these chests, because he wanted some storage space. I am going to put these things in there uh, because I've made a little bit of a mess out here doing this. There are six competitor rooms around here and an additional two back here on either side of this back section in case we need them. And then upstairs, there's a lot of open space and there is this, which is a blank slate for his scoreboard. So he can tweak this however he wants to and uh, keep track of the scores up there. And then if you go up here, there is a tower from which you can see uh, all around the place where I assume more tasks will be popping up as well. So this is the, I, I don't know what to call it, task center, competitor center. I'm not sure. Let me clean these up though and we will be on our way to the next thing, and I very much hope the orb likes this. This has been such a blast to make. Now, a little update here at the Mossman base. I have gathered all of the things that uh, were taken at the threat of attack on the Moss Peninsula and put them back. So Fred and Bubbles are back in here. Speaking of which, we need a name for the horse. Give me names. And I think I have found all of my things. I think so. I've gotten them back in here and actually pretty much organized. Oh, I still have to... Ah, okay. Maybe I have a little bit left to do, but that's fine. Most of it is put back here. I think I got most of my shulker boxes again. Not entirely sure. But I think I have everything. Probably. Uh, also, the headroom had been similarly emptied. It was completely empty of heads. So, all of that is back to normal as well. Although, it is a little bit rearranged. I did not bother trying to figure out where all the heads had been before. But, headroom is looking marvelous. Now, I am thinking that our horse might have a home right up here. I'm thinking I can extend this path up here. And it can just have a nice, nice little stable thing right here. This one, I'm not going to time lapse. I am just going to press a button and it will be the next moment for you. So here we go. Here it is. And the moss peninsula grows. Also, I'm just leaning into this now. These <laughs> barrels that I'm leaving everywhere, I'm not reorganizing it. I'm just leaving the materials here. So, extended the path this way a little bit, and it kind of looks like an old crumbly thing that's been repurposed. So, let me get you in here. Wait, no. Let me get you in here. Does it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, he shouldn't be able to get out. Probably, maybe. We must 
find ourselves some dogs now. I don't know where I'm going to find any dogs. I have a feeling that everything on the continent has probably already been claimed. So I think I'm going to have to fly off the continent. <gasps> Ooh, I think I see one. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, I don't think it actually matters what colors I get because I, I'm i gonna dye them. There we go, there's one of them. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, that worked really nice, okay. Is the white one following me too? You know what, I'm here and these guys are here too. Let me just get all of them. I, I don't know why I'm trying to just pick two. I am very glad that I got four because Two of them did not successfully keep teleporting with me. So these are the only two who got here, but that's fine because now I can breed these and make more. That is the north end of the continent right there. I've checked the map. I'm hoping that if I just fly across here, they will still be in render distance and they can just teleport to me. I'm just gonna go right over here. Please work the closest I can get to them. Do it. No, they're not rendered in anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this the difficult way. Oh, wait, now they are? Whoa, wait, it worked, it worked. Yeah! <laughs> yes, let's go home. Here we are. This is your new home. Now, we need names for these two as well. A name for the horse. And a name for these two lovely dragons. And also, I am going to dye them, I think. We're going to take them to the southern end of the continent. And they're going to stand watch for us. Watching out for Dodo and whatever else he might get up to. Did I say the south end of the continent? I meant the peninsula. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's leave them right here, I think. Yeah. Now let's get them some dye. Turn them green. Okay, so I just got back with a piece of cactus so I could dye them green and these other two guys showed up. Hello. Okay, wait, stop. Yes, yes, you can stay there. So now I guess we have four dragons. <laughs> I don't have enough name tags. All right, you will be green. Ooh, yeah. And you will be lime. They're beautiful moss-colored dragons. Okay, there is one last thing that I need to do today. So here I am at Dodo's base. And I think this should send a very clear message. <laughs> An egg in the grasp of moss, and it is directly in the direction of the mossy peninsula, on the peak that is closest to us. And we have our dragons <laughs> guarding this side of the peninsula, where we can just barely see the egg. Yep, there it is. I have a feeling that things are going to begin heating up between the moss and the not moss very soon now. And I am quite excited for it, so I will see you next time. Bye.